His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali said at the groundbreaking judgment handed down by the International Court of Justice on Friday is testament to what can be achieved if Guyanese work together. The ICJ ruled that it has jurisdiction to entertain Guyana's contention concerning the validity of the 1899 arbitral award of the frontier between British Guyana and Venezuela and the related question of the definitive settlement of the land boundary. President Ali was joined by ministers of government, heads of the disciplined forces and senior officials at the Arthur Chung Conference Center to listen to the judgment which was read by ICJ's President Judge Ahmed Yusuf from the chambers of the Peace Palace in The Hague. It is to that phase of our case that we now bend our will in unity as a nation and with conviction in the rightness of our cause. I express the hope now that the court has ruled decisively in favor of its jurisdiction to rule on the merits that our neighbors will consider participating fully in the proceedings. Dr. Ali said the court's decision demonstrates that international law can be brought to bear to ensure Guyana's patrimony is preserved. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Honorable Utad, said the ruling is a victory for Guyana, pointing to a government's inclusive approach to the matter. This has been a long-standing uh, matter that we've had to be dealing with for many decades, and it has no political confinement. This is an issue that requires the involvement of each and every citizen, regardless of their color, creed, race, class, or political affiliation. Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Governance, Honorable Gail Teixeira, expressed similar sentiments. We've crossed a, a major, major hurdle today, and I think we can all feel that this will hopefully signal to our Venezuelan uh, neighbors that the international uh, court and international law will rule on this case. Advisor on Borders, Mr. Carl Greenwich, who also serves as agent in the matter, said a favorable decision by the court is what Ghana has been looking for. We are pleased to see this case brought to a forum, accepted by a forum which can ensure the definitive resolution of the controversy which has bedeviled uh, our country and its neighbor since 1962. The, the, the issue has been characterized by endless and interminable uh, repetition of processes and arguments. And in the background, in the background, whilst this interminable uh, exchanges have taken place, Guyana has lost territory, investment, and the opportunity to improve the well-being of its people. Ghana first presented its case to the ICJ on June 30 this year, arguing that the International Court has jurisdiction to hear the matter arising from Venezuela's contention that the arbitral award of October 3, 1899, establishing the boundary with Ghana, is null and void.